my rug came. Guys, I swear I literally just ordered this last week. First of all, it's only 12 pounds, which I'm kind of worried about. And I did pay like 180 for this. I do not have regrets about the design that I chose, which is tulips, if you guys can't tell. It's super soft though, guys. Like, anyone who is going to be sitting here is gonna be super comfortable. happy that I went for a carpet that has like these waves. It's just funner. Anyways, I put the ottoman with the dining table and I don't know why. I kind of like the look. I'm also gonna put the pink carpet here. That definitely made this area like more cozier. Oh my gosh, Mochi's bed complete. The whole thing. I have the cutest living room, dining room setup that I have seen in person. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Ooh. Let's give it to Mochi. I made spicy noodles because I really wanted to try these noodles I just really got. I've never tried the habanero. Habanero? Fine. I just took a bite really quick. It's really hot in temperature. So it's also really hot in terms of spiciness. This is my first time eating spicy noodles at this house. I haven't been craving it that much. And I think it's because I'm no longer in a stressful environment for my mental health. I don't think I really explained to you guys, but I was. Me and my mom and Mochi shared one room at my uncle's house for, for five months. Three of those months I was in Korea. While I was at my uncle's house, I was craving spicy and cheesy food every day. I wasn't really craving spicy noodles, but really wanted to see how different habanero. It smells like tapatio. I got this far and I'm already out of hangers. I counted, it was 36 total. So sadly, I left hundreds of hangers at my old place. And it's sad because I spent a good chunk of money on them because velvet hangers are not cheap. The ones are here where your clothes can't slip off. And also they save a lot of space. So I guess everything happens for a reason because I feel like I want to get white hangers this time, velvet white hangers. I feel like it'll really open up my wardrobe and also allow my clothes to shine more. I mostly see black. Like when I go look for clothes, I see the hanger first. I feel like if it was like a white hanger, I'll be able to focus on the clothes more. It's a weird theory, but I think I'm going to buy some white velvet hangers from Amazon. I think I'm going to have to buy a hundred. I'm just going to spend the rest of my day cleaning this closet, making sure my room isn't a clutter because I notice I'm not really hanging out in my room because of the clutter. So. I definitely need to prioritize it because I would like to hang out in my room too. 
I randomly decided to chop off these leftover bleached hair rubber bands. I always do this technique when I'm just like trimming my hair. I had these blonde thingies since 2021. I don't think I'm gonna get all of blonde, but I'm gonna try to get a lot of it today. Next. A lot of blonde. I love that. When I ate spicy noodles yesterday, it made me start craving Korean, Korean store foods again. Like, this I found this on Amazon guys it is it helps you create crinkle seaweed kimbap so I'm gonna have some sesame oil this I brought from Korea this is only two dollars in Korea and if I were to like try to buy this in America twenty dollars on Amazon the filling is gonna be tuna I want to try to add corn I've never done that myself but I've tried it in Korean convenience stores Ding. Got this tuna from Costco. This is a really delicious tuna. If you guys don't know which tuna to get, get that one. Yeah, I got rid of a lot of water. Ooh, I love fresh meal. Mm. Not this much so far, but if I add more, I'll let you get oil. Comes in a three individual packs. I'll just use one for now. Tuna, rice, and the kimbap. Okay. This is the first trial one, and the shape is not good because I I don't know where my mold is. It's supposed to come with the mold. Yeah, this is like hand hand shape, I guess. Mm. Wow, that's actually really good. Mmm, this really hits in the morning. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in Korea again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I made a bunch of triangles and then I put it in the fridge for 20 minutes so that it would keep its shape. And now I'm just going to wrap them. Wow, I made 15 rice balls. These are the drinks I brought back from Korea. I still haven't touched them after four months of not being in Korea. I still have them because I've been saving them. Is it perfect? saw that they're $16 on Amazon. It's really pricey, but it's because of the technology of the paper. I saw online how to do it with just aluminum foil. I'll try to show you guys how to do that in the future. But for now, I'll link these on Amazon. Oh jeez, but it's right there. I'm in my hallway because I'm gonna use my measuring tape. <laughs> okay, so you walk in here and then there's the stairs, right? So this we see every day. I think I wanna add a whiteboard here, a big one, so we could write down our to-do list. It's gonna measure everything really quick. Let's go 160 cm, 89 cm. Let's go see if they have a good one on Amazon. Mochi well, follows me everywhere. It makes me feel sad because she has little legs and I'm scared she's gonna get arthritis. But I think she's very healthy, so she won't get arthritis. Huh, Mochi? <laughs>
Okay, Jules, I've been on the computer for a good hour. I want to get some break from that. I'm going to attempt to make s'mores cookie part two. If you guys watched the previous vlog, I totally failed making s'mores cookie in this air fryer. And I figured out it's mainly because of this air fryer. This air fryer is from Costco and it's too good. It cooks too good too hot to create the kind of cookie i want so i'm gonna try to make it in the oven this time i got this for five dollars at daiso it's been to korea and america back to back two times okay. i want the design to be on the bottom of the cookie so these pink heart ones and i'm actually gonna put these in the fridge for 20 minutes I think I like, overcooked them a bit because I was scared it's raw inside. I like the back design. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is, this is just what I wanted. Oh my god. Marshmallow pull. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. With a graham cracker on the back, it definitely tastes like s'mores cookies. My car is currently in the shop. Something's wrong with it and it won't be fixed until like a couple days later. I'm gonna go to Goodwill today because it's like really close to my house and this is the thrifting outfit slash walking. My first time like ever walking somewhere. Yeah, this is, should be a good walking outfit. It's really comfortable and I have my tote bag from Korea and then look guys, I have this thingy and it has like M&Ms in there but I mostly bought it for the fan because I lost mine. Yeah. This shirt just looks fun. Passion. Shark. It's a shark needle shirt. That's my old pants. <laughs> Let me see. You have to put it around your neck to see if it fits. Oh yeah, it definitely fits. I'm risk it. Oh my god, this is my view walking home. This is so nice. Okay. For some reason, we spent three hours outside, and because of that, we accumulated 11,000 steps, both me and my mom. By the way, some of you guys are asking just where's my mom gonna live? My mom is still currently my roommate, but we would like to get her her own place. I like living with my mom, but I feel like we don't really agree with stuff. But I feel like we both deserve to live our best life. Right now, she's a roommate until she finds her own place. First thing I got was this shirt. And what made me really like it was the detail on the neck. And I also really like V-necks. A V-neck shirt is definitely for summer. So this is a summer shirt to me. $4.99 only. I hope I don't regret buying this. It's a sandal that is so cute for summertime. It really stood out to me when I first saw it because it feels so Y2K, like Lizzie McGuire. Also, I think it's really cute home decor item. Even if I don't wear it, I feel like it adds to a space. I have these whale eggs. I really want to try them today. I bought it like last week and I bought a big tiny sunnyside quail egg.
I got some packages from Amazon just now. So. I got a new wireless car charger. You definitely need this if you live in Minnesota. Okay, there's supposed to be white velvet in there. I think this is gonna be so cute in my closet. Ooh, I like it. Why does this seem nicer quality than my black ones were? I brought up all my white hangers. First, I'm gonna switch these out to the white ones. I want them all to be the same color. Had some clothes that are ready to be hung. I put them in separate piles and mochi should not be standing on them okay so let's do some editing magic let me know if you guys see a difference ready boom okay it doesn't look that much different but i really like it i love white hangers more than the black ones <laughs> 